Well, hello there. It's Professor Al Wood Pricklethorne. Welcome to the very first edition of my Tree Minute Pep Talks, where we give trees a chance. Philippe Armando, uh, let's go to the lines. They're buzzing. Uh, let's check out line one. Hi, this is Todrick from Tobermory. Can you tell me the primary difference between a seed and a nut? Thank you. What an excellent question, Todrick. Uh, in a nutshell, and simply put, uh, nuts have a hard outer shell that contain a dry fruit, including one or two seeds. Seeds, on the other hand, are embryonic plants with built-in nutrient-rich coverings. Both can be nutritious and tasty delicious. Uh, Philippe Armando, let's go to line two, and I think it's Bob in Burlington. Good afternoon, Bob. Welcome to the Tree Minute Pep Talk. Hi, Professor. Last year I fashioned up an old clothesline by putting a cable around the tree in the back corner. It hasn't taken very long, but it looks like the cable is digging into the tree. What's going on? Oh, Bob, Bob, Bob. That's not good. Um, just for a moment, imagine this scenario. If we were to wrap a cable around your arm, leg, or neck, you'd be cut off circulation, right? So in a short time, for sure, and it would feel very uncomfortable, and it would just get tighter with growth. So um, the cable gets tighter, the tree gets bigger, and it just simply digs into the most vital layers of the tree that are just inside the layer of the bark. You see, Bob, trees are living organisms and full of ever-expanding cells. Those living cells react to external forces. Th think of the tree as being just a big series of vertical straws up and down that move the nutrients all the way from the roots all the way up to the canopy of the tree. By wrapping a chain around it, you'll constrict and eventually restrict the flow of the roots to the canopy. The nutrients can't go up vertically to where they're needed. Again, the vital vessels in the tree are just behind this bark layer right here. So the best thing you can do, Bob, right now is to get out there and take that chain off the tree or that cable and let's hope that the tree bounces back. Bob, thank you for calling and thank you for listening to this week's Tree Minute Pep Talk where we give trees a chance. Tune in next week and we are going to show some terrible uh, tree volcano violations. Philip Armando, thanks for working the lines and all we are saying is give trees a chance.